Oh, it's so close. Are they there? Oh, I think it's going to be close. Should I do it? Should I do it? The Porto Soleil region is a massive expanse of mountain biking trails. And today I'm going to give you the perfect demonstration of that. My buddy Ben is going to drive from here in Champery all the way around the roads to Morzine. And I am going to take a bunch of mountain bike trails and chairlifts to get to the same destination. Ben and Corinne will be driving 58 kilometers through the Alps to reach the final destination of Morzine. According to Google Maps, their route should take one hour and 15 minutes. I'll be taking a total of two chairlifts and one teleferique with some uphill pedaling, but over the 24 kilometers, I'll be descending 1900 meters or 6,200 feet. And on the way, I'll be using my sponsor's downhill bike, the brand new Scott Gambler. Made of carbon fiber, this is the lightest production downhill bike on the market. So I'm pretty sure I've got the perfect equipment here. And if you'd like to find out more, there are some links in the description with some more information. Looking at the stats, it should be a pretty close race. So let's get to the shop Grand Prix Teleferique and get this thing started. Thinks we're gonna drive the Land Cruiser over. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. The race is on. I don't think we should drive the 4x4 over there. It'll be too slow on the asphalt roads. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. So we'll just wait until he gets in the tram and takes off and then we'll go swap cars. He won't know the difference until we're there. It's a slow start, Ben. Bye. Yep. <laughs> He's off. Alright, let's go get a faster car. Big smashing pedal coming up. Straight out of the lift, I'll need to pedal up this fire road. It's going to be a few hundred meters of breathing out my eyeballs and busting my lungs. Oh man, I think first thing. So we had a look at the rule book and there's nothing that states that we have to take the uh, four-wheel drive not too bad over to Morzine so we're just gonna take a faster car first downhill track down to Croze to Red we think it's between the tape we think it's legal yeah all good oh I don't know any of the lines already oh, <laughs> First Jedi. Bonjour. Merci, monsieur. So that's the first trail and we're on the first chairlift. It felt pretty good. The pedal wasn't too bad. My Fox RP seat, you can't see it. My full face helmet was actually really breathable. I was kind of surprised. If you want to find more information, link below. Sponsors dream. Pedal up on this bike. This weighs, this only weighs 35 pounds and this is a 29er downhill bike. But the valley we're going into now, I don't actually remember how to get down it. So we're kind of guessing. As long as those guys aren't cheating, we should be perfectly fine. Do you think we're going to beat him? No. So now I have no idea where I'm going. I think it might be close. Oh, okay, close. And we're going to Chez Roger. I know there's one route that goes off to the right, but it's way slower. So he's got to traverse Morzine a little bit. Okay. Let's bike off here. I'm going to gamble with the left route. Oh, tell me there if there is a route. Yes. Yes, there's a route. Wait, is there? Oh, no. Access Lindre, that's where we need to get. So you see this big old cardboard box here? The Grand Koch. That's what we're doing. Paul made us take this box with us. And because we're crossing an international border going from Switzerland to France, I'm starting to wonder if he gave us this box to try and uh, slow us down at the border. Ah, uh, I can't see any bike trails. And hopefully he gets lost. Okay, looks like we're fire red blasting then. Hunters usually get lost, right? And this is the Swiss border. And if he's Paul the punter, then it's almost guaranteed he'll get lost, right? Now we're getting into France. According to Trail Forks, there is a normal mountain bike trail that goes the other way. And it might have actually been shorter than the way I'm going here. But as been predicted, I got lost. So I had to go with what I knew, and I knew that this fire road went all the way down to the next chairlift. If you've ridden the other trail before, let me know what it's like in the comments below. So we just crossed the border, there was no, no police there, no border guards. So Paul's plan didn't work. Now we're in France. Today. Now we're in Chateau. Oh, it's Sunday. <laughs> Where do you think he is now? Mm, maybe on his way down from Marseille to London. 
Oh, it's the bottom already. We need to head into a town called Linderay. Corinne was kind of right, but at the time, they were actually closer to Morzine than I was. As I was about to drop into the fire road, they'd already gone past Chatel, so we'd both got through the Swiss border, but they were slightly in front. We're getting into La Chapelle d'Abondance. For those who don't speak French, Ben, how do you say that in English? Oh, the English pronunciation would have to be the Chapel of Abundance. Not too much of a disaster on that bit. Oh, where have I just come from? See, all the way over there? GoPro, it's probably too small on the GoPro. I don't actually think that was that fast, bombing it down the fire road. It was pretty rough, I had to just keep on the ball. I wonder how fast I was going. And I just checked my Strava, and I've been going, it's been going for about probably 47 minutes now. We've got to pedal it down to it, through Avoria, and then hopefully the black trail that comes into Morzine isn't going to be too crazy. If it is, I'll probably have to pull off on the fire road, but we'll see what it's like when we get there. Okay, here we go. Well, Avoria. Oh, and a dog. Time for the final descent. Bon chien, monsieur. C'est très joli. Au revoir. I had to make it down this last mountain and then negotiate my way through the town of Morzine. So this is it, we've got to get down there. So you can go left down the road, but I want to make this a real mountain bike thing. So we're going to go straight on into the trail. Oh my God, please stop. Oh, rip. Dive down left. I got the wrong one. That's nice, this one. Okay. The final part was a no-brainer, as I did live here five years ago. However, I didn't know that some of the trails had actually changed. First trail. Ah. Oh, blue. Oh, it's a jump. That's why. Okay. I think this was a faster way. Here's a massive uphill there. This would be the flattest section of the day, so I dug deep and just kept my pedals turning as fast as I could. The downhill bike isn't the most suitable machine on these green trails, but that wasn't going to hold me back. Excuse me, merci. Col du Corbier. Oh, that means that they're about 20 minutes out. We're way further down than I thought we were going to be. Okay, where's the... I had no idea how long it would take to descend into Morzine, but... Excuse me, Oh, merci. All I knew was I had a thousand meters to go. Ah, oh, mushroom. Oh, this is new. All right, black. We're going down. Didn't drop note. I am now riding completely blind. These look all new since I've been here. Oh. You three are going straight up there, I think. It's pretty cool that they've put turns in as I straight through one of them. <laughs> oh, great fox flag. This is where things get really, really hard. <sighs> Stay down here. Wait, where? Where is it? Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> this is really wet. That doesn't, okay. I think if this is wet, then the next bit will be nuts. Oh God, look at this. Uh, oh my God. Uh, oh, it's so slippy. Uh, it came out the same. Oh, it's so steep. Oh, it's so slippy. So wet. And there's the road. Oh, this is so wet. But as I remember, that bit when it's wet is ridiculous. Used to live there. Down here. Morzine. We've made it. Plenty up there. So much riding in the Port Soleil. It's insane. We'd all made it to Morzine. But who was going to reach that final destination first? We're so close. Excuse me, more. Merci. Oh, we're so close. Are they there? Oh, I think it's going to be close. Final. Oh. Shiro is just around this corner. Do I do it? Do I do it? There's the bar. Are they here? Oh, I can't see them. I think I've done it. I think I beat him. What time? 1 hour 15. I think I beat him. There it is. Switzerland into France. 
24 kilometers. Anything across the app. Link in the description if you want to see this. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, look who's here. Ah! <laughs> Is he already there? Mm. <laughs> I did it! How long have you been here? About 10 minutes. We got lost. <laughs> oh, so did I. Oh, going far up. Hold up. 10 minutes? What happened to Ben and Corinne? Well, looks like the tactic of swapping cars didn't actually help them out that much, and well, they still got lost. We, we would have been there way earlier. I thought I remembered where it was. Yeah. According to Strava, I'd made this journey in one hour and five minutes. So it looks like their time was actually pretty spot on to what Google predicted. So there we go, I'd won. Without getting lost, this might have been a little bit closer, but I'm sure there are other factors for both sides that would have changed the time quite considerably. But that's racing, and it was a lot of fun. So why not hit subscribe for more videos from me in the future? And if you did enjoy it, hit the like button and share it with someone else. And most importantly, watch it twice. Cheers, punters. I'm off for a croissant.